Today my panel was about financing movies, and um, I think the information that they gave out um, was actually very high-end and, and um, in some ways very complex, in that if you are a young filmmaker and you want to finance a movie, and you don't, can't call Richard Gere up personally, or you can't call up a Nick Meyer who was on the, on the board who's a, who's a film buyer and a distributor for foreign films and personally, or uh, someone that has those type of powers, it's more difficult to get films financed if you're a young, non-branded uh, producer. And so what I learned today and what I tried to talk about was the idea that that you go where the money is. You, you, as a young producer, you should try to find where the money is and that's where you should go. And kind of don't play the games of saying, okay, I got a package package, I have to go to the banks, I have to go to the foreign sales agents, I have to go to the agencies, and I package it all together, and then I sell the movie. I think that that's a game that I'm, I'm allowed to play because I have 34 movies under my belt. And the guys on the panel and are, are allowed to play because they have more movies under their belt. But I think our audience needed to know that you know, as uh, if, if you if you can't call up a star, you don't have them on your phone, uh, and you don't have agents on your phone, and you don't have buyers on your phone. How do you finance a movie? There's plenty of money out there. You just got to go f where the money is. Be the good bank robbers, like you know, why do you rob banks? It's where the money is. So you ask where the money is. And I think the money now is, as we know, is in Asia and in television. There's money in television. The Asia market is, is pretty simple. Um, it, right now it's divided into two categories that the Asian distributors and the Asian, Asian money are looking for. Asian money wants to make Academy Award movies. There's no doubt about it. And if you can supply them with a movie that they will believe has a shot at having the award type of movie, whether it's the Golden Globes, the Academy Awards, or prestige around the world, they are definitely looking for those movies. So if there's a script that they have that is going to be high-minded, you know, award type movies, you can get money out of Asia. And the other is the exact opposite, is um, they're looking for movies that make a lot of money, and that usually has to do with uh, more movies in the action, X-Men type of type of area which have performed phenomenally well in China through the roof. I made a movie in China, I've made several movies, but I made a movie last year in China that, that, that was made for about 30 some million dollars and it is definitely kind of an action movie called The Mermaid and it made 500 million in China. And that's really emblematic of what they're looking for. It's kind of funny, it's action, it's a bit crazy, um, kind of cutting edge in terms of a lot of uh, it was a, a green movie promoting green ideas, uh, beautiful women, very commercial, and that's what the other thing they're looking for. Well, for me, um, I, I have a kind of a bifurcated business. I have a business here in the United States that I make, uh, you know, make movies here, uh, make TV movies. We're, we're on making right now High School Musical 4, 5, and 6. Um, at least we're making four, and we have five and six planned. Um, we have, uh, last few years ago, I had made a TV series in Argentina. We made 80 episodes, one hour episodes. So again, I was looking where the money is. You know, money now is, like I said, in television. So I'm looking around at the Amazons and the Netflix and to see if we can raise money, even DirecTV, where we can raise money from those companies that, that need content and they have money. And I have always looked around foreign. I've made movies all around the world. And whenever I ever can find a foreign area that can, give me money, that's great, that's what I look for. To produce a movie takes an enormous amount of energy and time. So you're gonna, you're gonna spend one, two, three years of your life kind of wrapped around that movie and around that subject. So you better love it. Even if it's strictly a commercial movie, you better love the material because you have to live with it day or night for a really long time.